Hi, welcome to this uh, plasma system. So, you know, I've divided my time into XFC, the flagship, XFC OpenBox i3, and another computer has plasma. That's my, um, well, my, my idea for this year to become more familiar with plasma. The topic of the video is Arclix D. I just built a new Arclix D ISO, and we're now able to install ISWM with the latest ISO, if you build it, of course, right? Because we're on a bi-monthly release, so it will be released on November. So these are part of uh, tutorials that I'm making that I, as we speak, there is arcnexd.com and it contains a lot of information. Phase three, ISWM installation. These days we can install in different ways and the old articles still need to be updated and upgraded, but time, right? Installing can be done in four options. Install the desktop using Calamar. So that's the new build I've made today. Install the desktop using our scripts, which is just Arcanlix D download scripts, which is explained here. Arcanlix D get the scripts, run the scripts, reboot, right? And option three is installing with an, an entirely ISO, Arcanlix B, ISWM. So that's that. And whatever you're on, you can always install the desktop with our Arcanlix Tweet tool. So Control Alt E facilitates anything you want to have on any of our Arch Linux stuff, right? So all the things are in here as well. This video is about installing Arcanlix D. So option one, and installing the desktop using Calamars. That's a video that we need here. That's this one. This is about JWM. So I started with copy paste from the articles of JWM. This video needs to be replaced. So super F7. Oracle VM virtual manager is here. Do I have a template that I can use? I can use a template. So that's specifically themed and tweaked for my PC. It's something I've put on there. And so you can do the same thing. Otherwise you have to do it all over again and again and again. When giving four CPUs these days to the system and acceleration is all normal. Display VBox SVGA will work and VBox VGA will work as long as you don't enable it. So do check it out. It should still say VBox VGA. So if it starts changing from to the VM thing, this is not VMware, right? This is, this is the wrong one. This one, that one, either one will work, but check it out if it stays. All right, if this is my template, I can clone it and I can say, I'm gonna show you the Arcanomics D session. I'm loading up the optical drive, choose the create image, bad choice. Again, choose a disk file, go to shared core team. This is the latest one from an hour and a quarter ago, right? You can build ISOs yourself. Now, is that true, Eric? Yeah, right? Go to Arcanlix D, Arcanlix B, sorry, and then follow this or follow this. You've got it you have exactly the same ISO I have. Just run it, the building script. Then we're gonna clone it, uh, sorry, not clone it, but boot it, of course. And well, we got all these messages, blah, 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 non-fatal, whatever, this it needs to go. And yeah, VirtualBox is what it is. There's no things like that either, don't wanna see this either. Now, finally, VirtualBox shuts up and starts. Well, VirtualBox is fun. It can be nice to try out an operating system, but bear in mind that you were really emulating, right? So a lot of things can go wrong because of the fact that you're not actually on hardware. It's an emulator and um, it's not using all the cores. I have, I have eight cores, it's not using all my RAM. I have 16 RAM, 16 gigabyte RAM, right? Just half of it. So, there are downsides of using a virtual machine, whatever it is, virtual machine, virtual box, uh, VMware, I mean, then uh, Q, there's another one, Q, Q, Mu or something. So boxes, we're gonna run Calamaris. It's gonna be the last one that's available for now. It's 3.23 to 30. And I'll show you 
that we have made a new configuration. We need login manager, something to log into, right? Choose one of the four. And now we have so a new choice. This is new, not on the old machine of the release of September, gonna be on the release of November. If you want it, build it. Next, 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 next. And the last one is the one we actually use ourselves. So these things, we just, this is for us developers, right? Developers, beta testers, we wanna talk to each other afterwards. We wanna make melt comparisons, scrots and flame shots, uh, things, Discord and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna install it, not now. I could, but no swap, yes, no. You choose, hibernate, encrypt, nothing encrypt, entirely up to you. And off we go. It's that simple installing a desktop, right? It's that simple. Now, while that's doing its thing, let's have a look at the text here. So installing ISWM with Calamaris. Select your installation with desktop you like to install. Calamaris gives you all the choices. You can combine desktops, okay? So this video will put it in there. And let's um, wait for the installation to finish and pause a little bit uh, with the video here. So it's finished and let's restart. Arch Linux D is the most minimalizer there is. You can actually have a almost Arch Linux feel with it. But the thing is, during your uh, installation, you decided to install LightDM, right? But LightDM is not enabled, it's, it can't just figure out, hey, what have you chosen? So you choose whatever, LightDM or, or SDM or any of the others, four choices. The only thing you need to remember, same for Arch D when you do the scripts, is two things. Well, we could add one more. Where are you living? Are the mirrors okay, right? Are the mirrors okay? That's something you could do, say, Take a look at the Arch Linux mirrors. Take a look, there's nowhere mentioning Arco, right? It's Arch. So now I've got the fastest Arch Linux server around. So when I update, which probably is not gonna be much since I just built it, but this is Arch Linux, right? Boom, there is one after an hour already. So next thing, if I got the fastest servers and I'm up to date, the think about what desktop this is. Do I need to scale or not, right? If you don't do scale, it gives you a, gives you a different result and there's an article on articlingsinfo.com to see that. A, a plain vanilla XFC is not nice to look at. If you do a scale, you get our stuff in, articlings stuff, right? So scale is uh, copy pasting everything that's in ETC scale. I wanna learn. I'm not gonna do, gonna do scale. I'm gonna see what happens now, All right? Yeah, let's try. It's gonna be <laughs> probably not that nice. So we'll do scale later. We'll see the results. And last, the other thing is you need to enable whatever you chose. Was it LightDM? Was it SDM? Enable, of course. LightDM? Was it SDM service? Was it LXDM service? And stuff like that. There is GNOME as well. GDM. So, sudo reboot. Come on, show me what you give. So first is the kernel and all that, and at some point in time it says, "Oh, I need to load up LightDM." So that's what we're gonna see. And this is your ISWM. <laughs> all right, we get we got something right. This is the original look. So this is what we get from Arch Linux which is cool, right? No keyboard shortcuts, nothing working, super control T, super shift D, super X, nothing working, right? Not our system. But yeah, it is what it is. And maybe you fall in love with this, right? Or, <laughs> or you go for a terminal 
if I can find one, and otherwise, well, <laughs> urxvt, and we type scale, right? Scale. Now the data is in here, but it's not reloaded. I mean, we could try a reboot or a restart and see what happens. Oh, it's already not that bad. So this is our um, look, but not the wallpaper, of course. <laughs> it's not our choice of wallpaper. Logouts uh, will be best. Not our colors uh, either. So this is how you play around with these things. And this is our look, right? This is what we provide you. That's our added value, the Arco Linux packages. This is a much nicer setup of your system. Right mouse click and go inside. Well, why I always do this one? So the menus, all that, that's this one, the themes, change theme, right? It's all up to you. But this is our wallpaper, our menu, all our settings and everything. So that's how you uh, install ISWM with Calamars and think about will I scale or not. If it's a tiling window manager, it's super important to actually scale because otherwise you get a config, either no config or an empty config, right? So um, that's it for me. Enjoy Atomix D. You can, as I said, uh, it's now middle of September. So if you want to be able to use ISDBM via the Calamars, you need to build it yourself. And it's super easy. Let's end with that. The actual article, build your own ISO, Arclinx D, do this, build this, right? Change the packages, procedure, and that's it. I'm out.